Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to another mod contest video. Now this one gets a video all by itself because I have a soft spot for the, well, I, I say 11090, this is technically the 14090, uh, but you guys know what I mean. So this one is what we used in old streams back in FS15, but of course someone's redone it now for FS15. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. We've got our flashlight on here so we can see all the nitty gritty details. So this one here is a four wheel drive model, as you can see it's got the proper axle. Um, it looks like it has a drive shaft. We'll soon see if that spins. Um, it's got out get, uh, what would you call this? Like uh, non-standard tires. It's got its own tires, basically. Same brand, Teleborg, but it looks like they're uh, imported in. The texture looks okay-ish on them. Um, you can kind of tell it doesn't match the 17, but I like the fact they look worn. It adds more character to it. Um, custom rims. They're not the in-game rims. They are custom for this tractor. Uh, at the back here, we've got the low hitch, the high hitch. And the three-point as well with the hydraulic hoses there. Attached ones is pretty plain back here, but you know, it's, it it looks good. Um, it's all you need really is a good three-point. We've got the uh, New Holland logo there on the uh, Fiat tractor. Of course, they are the same brand. Um, Fiat Agri. So what? with that said, does this thing have any IC? Um, ah, this thing looks like it has an animation. So if we do left shift E, it looks like we may have an animation to get into this thing. So the door opens up here. Uh, are we going to climb in? Yes, we have an animation to get in, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, so it goes to the ex uh, exterior camera. Though. That's sort of ruins the immersion, but you got what I mean. So at the moment, the tractor's off, and we have all of the lights showing up. So I'm assuming this is in the state of we've turned the ignition, but not turned it over. Uh, you can see the key in the ignition just down there, so it might be the case. Now, as that happened, I'm assuming this thing has IC. Yes, it does. Cool. So we get this. Uh, is that going to work? Yeah, we get the door closed. Uh, we've got four points here. That's what they all do. So this one here, uh, this is the front bonnet, I believe. We'll go ahead and get that taken off. Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So it rests on there. Not sure what this one is. Let's have a look, actually. So, um, Okay, that's the main one. What's this one, then? Um, okay. Not sure what this is. So, uh, there's two bonnets? What the heck? What the heck is going on here? So for some reason we've got two that do the same thing. And you can confuse the game to give yourself two bonnets if you want. Assuming this is the same on the other side. Let's go ahead and uh, swap that around to this side here. So I'm assuming it might be a bug or I'm not really sure what I'm missing here. So this is hide cover bonnet, open hide cover... Remove cover bonnet? What am I missing here? Am I, am I being an idiot? So one removes it. And one hides it. So maybe we can take it off and hide it. And hide it. And hide it. Okay, no. It doesn't work. I don't know what that is for. It's confusing. Maybe you guys can tell me. Maybe I'm being a complete idiot here, which is probably the case. So we can open the passenger door as well. There is sound as well. If I'd be quiet, you guys can hear this. So there's the opening sound when we close it as well. There we go. That's pretty cool. We've got side windows. Do these make a noise? No, no they don't. Uh, you got the rear window there. That doesn't make a noise either, which is cool. I mean, the noise is just bonus. It doesn't matter if it has it or not. What's this? That is the sunroof. Controlled from the uh, aircon unit. So there we go. Um, let's have a look here. So it looks like that might be it in terms of IC. So with that said, let's go ahead and tick this thing over. Oh, look at the exhaust start to shake there. That is pretty awesome. The lights disappear. We get uh, what I believe is a custom sound. The exhaust shaking like that is quite cool. I like that a lot. Um, let's see if we actually take off the bonnet. We can see things moving around inside. Yep, yeah, okay. Wow, there's a lot of detail. So if I get close to this, you can see we actually have all the fans and the fan belts and the alternator and stuff spinning around there, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, oh, okay, wasn't it? It looks like the ice dots may be messed up, but what I was trying to do, it has actually worked. So one of the sides has actually disappeared completely. Um, so I'm not sure how I did that, but I did it. Uh, not sure how. So they should both be back now. Yes, they are. Cool. So um, let's check out the lights real quick. So we have the normal running lights there. We've got the ones on the side as well, the ones on the front. Now these are a slight yellow tint, which I really like. It gives it a bit more of an authentic old tractor look. Got them on the back as well. So this thing does not have working lights which is a surprise. Um, have just noticed we actually do have working lights, though. 
which is kind of a negative for me because we actually have things lighting up with no physical lights there unless that's full beam let's try let's try this minute so I don't really know what that is maybe that's just playing off as full beam but if we do control F okay this thing does have full beam let's try the indicators here in the proper positions using coronas this is, might have a double corona by the look of it so there we go there's the uh, coronas on the front it looks like they're on the side of the cab there as we can see Beacon light works as we'd expect. Uh, does it have reverse lights? No, no reverse lights in this tractor, which is fine. That's a really nice sound. It might be a bit loud. I might have to turn it down in the video, but there we go. Um, working pedals, working gear shifters. So that's obviously neutral. That's drive. Does it work when we go into reverse? Neutral. Uh, why is the handbrake light coming on? I don't really know what that is. I don't know what that is. That green light there, but it went red for a second. Let's see the horn on this thing. Custom horn, that's really nice. I love the uh, quality of the speedometer on this. It's really cool. Um, let's see if this thing tips over. Do you know what? It does a little bit, but in a realistic way. You see we've got one wheel off the ground there. But we're also going 23 miles an hour in a complete circle. So that's not actually not unrealistic. Let's go ahead and spawn something in that we can use. I'll tell you what, we'll spawn in the coon plow. Why not? Where's the coon plow? So we'll see if we get this thing hooked up with no issues. See if it lines up properly. Let's see if it tips the tractor back. Right, there we go. We'll go ahead and back this up here. Like so. Right. So there's a little bit of weight pulling on the back, but you'd expect that from a plow. Um, we'll turn it around. No issues. Awesome. Um, you see it all lined. Does that actually line up properly? I don't know if that's lined up properly or not. You guys have to tell me. It looks like it. Yeah, it is. Okay, that is definitely lined up properly. You see it's caught onto the plow there. Let's take up the top one. Yep, top one's in the correct space as well, so they've done well lining everything up there, all the nodes and stuff there. Um, yeah, that's the, it hooking up to a plow. Now, does it have a front weight? Don't know, but what we're going to do real quick is look at the different customizable extras for this. So we'll quickly go to the store. We'll go to... Fiat. There we go. Fiat Agri. So here it is. It is £45,000 to buy. £200 a day upkeep. 140 horsepower out the box. 218 litres in the fuel tank. 26 mile hour top speed. And uh, yeah, in the options we have no extra work lights. So there's the answer to the work lights. Um, with extra work lights. So we do have the work lights. That might be why. We've got Teleborg tyres, Pirelli tyres, Michelin tyres. Uh, i tell you what, we'll go with the Pirellis. We've got aerial... What is that? High filter. So we'll do a couple of these. So we'll go for the aerial on weight. Design with one beacon light, two beacon lights. Fenders large. Uh, we'll go for the fenders. Let's see what this one looks like here. Ready? So this one... Um, what are we looking at here? This has the big large fenders here. Is it different? Yeah, it is. Because, so this one here, the fenders are cut right back and the wheel sticks out. Whereas this one here has the extended black bits on the fender there. Uh, what was that aerial thing? Um, okay, we actually have work lights now. See, there's work lights there. No work lights on this one. So let's see if they actually work, shall we? Um, yeah, the work lights work as expected. Do we have any on the back? Oh, we have them on the back now, so that's pretty cool. We have the Pirelli tyres there, which... I kind of like the extra tyres, if I'm honest. The texture seems to be a little bit better than the uh, Teleborgs. Uh, what else was the other difference? Something about an aerial, I think it was. Uh... Oh no, we decided to get rid of it, didn't we? Did we? I can't remember. What we're going to do here is actually clear up the yard a minute. We'll get loads of different Fiat's next to each other so we can compare them all. So we'll quickly sell all these. We'll get the Fiat back up here. So we're going to go with extra work lights. We'll keep the Televorgs on. Uh, aerial on weight. Not sure what that is. We'll go for the two beacon lights. Like so. Um, we'll go for the high filter. Not really sure. That it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll find out. No beacon light. Hmm. Does that interrupt with that? One beacon light. Let's try that. Um, just so we know which one it is, we'll put Michelin's on here. There we go. So there's the uh, three Fiat's at the back. All of them have the working lights. So at the back, there doesn't seem to be any difference. The tyres are actually a lot bigger on this one than they are on this one. That might just be the way it's sat. This is the, these tyres are completely different. Oh, I like these Michelin's. These Michelin's are a really nice texture. Looks like they've been washed, but not deep washed. Looks like they've just been jet washed quickly and they're still a bit dirty. Really like them. Um, 
Ah, there we go. So this one here has... What was this one? This one here has the high filter, as you can see. Or some people like to call it the snorkel. Uh, with... It looks like it... I don't know why it's hooked up to the exhaust. You guys have to tell me. Why do tractors do that? You guys can tell me. Well, there's a pipe going from the air filter to the exhaust. Because I have no idea. Um, what other differences were there? I can't know what that aerial weight thing was. What was that? I have no idea what the aerial weight thing was. I'm still looking for it. Can't seem to find it. Um, but yeah, I like this track. This will be going into my fleet for sure. In fact, I know exactly what map I'm going to use this on as well. Um, let's see if this thing actually copes with the horsepower. So what I'm going to do to make this test fair, this thing apparently has 140 horsepower. I don't think we updated the engine. No, we didn't. So what we're going to do is see if this thing actually does have 100 horsepower. Uh, what was it? 140 horsepower, I think it was. Yeah, we'll see if the thing actually has 140 horsepower. So we'll jump in. Uh, so once again, we're looking at, on the left-hand side, it says motor, clutch, and power. So the power, we're looking for 140. And it's gone right up to 158. So automatically, we've got a lot more than we're supposed to. You could play it off to say it's been chipped. But it's only like 10 or so horsepower. And this thing's tipping over a lot more than before. But yeah, we've got more than 140 horsepower, which, you know, it's not much different. Uh, but it is definitely different to what it says. I like the black, I really do like the black smoke coming out of this thing. I like the sounds of it as well. So this is probably one of my favourite ones in the contest, if I'm honest. I do actually really like this 150, uh, 140, sorry. Um, I know the Irish guys love these tractors, so if you are an Irish guy, I'm pretty sure you like these. But there we go, that is the Fiat Agri 140 90 Turbo DT. Um, really, really cool tractor, this. I'm probably going to use this one on my Let's Play. Once again, there's no errors whatsoever. Lots of customised extras. If you do know, that's a couple of things I want to know. So let me know why these are connected, because I have no idea. I'm not a real farmer, um, or mechanic for that matter. And also, what is that aerial thing? Still not found the aerial thing. Um, yeah, not sure, personally. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me. If you do enjoy this mod, you can download it from the official Farming Simulator website. I'll also put a link in the description box if I remember. If you like this tractor a lot, please vote for it and support the mod author and uh, help this one win. If you did enjoy this video, please have a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.